guys, it's Tiff. I'm so excited to be here as part of the blog hop. And this, the theme of this hop is about the sea. So I wanted to do something um, a little less traditional, I guess, when you think of the sea. I kind of thought about mermaids because I love mermaids. But I opted for going with um, what I wanted it to be was like an old underwater city that was under the ocean. So bear with me. We're going to do a gel medium transfer, okay? And I'm going in here with a gel um, matte medium. Um, it's a, a little thick. I love the Liquitex brand the best. Um, I seem to get the best image transfers with that. So if you've never done an image transfer, what we are trying to do is this is a laser printed copy, okay, of a book that I found of old buildings, and I thought that this would be cool to go under the water. And so we're going to let it sit, okay, and as you see, I let it sit until that gel medium was dry. So I did use a little bit of my craft gun just to make sure that the gel medium was good and um, dry. Now the key here is we're not looking for a perfect image. If we were, we could just cut the building out and then paste it down onto um, our journal page. But instead, I was wanting a very um, rough kind of, um, you know, as something sits in the, in the ocean, you know, it would begin to kind of crack and peel apart. So that was kind of some of my thoughts as I was doing this. Now, I am just simply dipping my finger into a warm, warmish water. And I'm just going to rub it ever so lightly. The goal is... For the gel medium to adhere to the ink and the paper pulp to be brought up. Okay, as you see, I did not make y'all watch me go and take all of that paper pulp off. Be patient, don't rush the process, and you will have a nice image. Now, I have done inkjet transfers before and magazines if you'd like to reference those um, in my other videos. And then I'm going in with gel medium over the top of um, this image. I wanted to kind of um, give it a sealant um, to go over the top. And now we have this hard edge, okay? And if you've never watched my channel before, I'm not a fan <laughs> of hard edges. So I'm doing some masking tape here to kind of... Um, bridge the gap over uh, where those lines are. So your eye will kind of go from, you know, around the journal page. So I'm going ahead and this is um, gel medium that I'm putting down around the page. Okay. Why am I doing that? Because the paint is going to work differently on non sealed paper versus sealed paper. And you could do this with gesso as well. I just happened to have the gel medium out and had some extra on my brush. So I thought, why not? Because what we're going to see is we're going to get that variation. I'm a fan of the variation in, um, in the texture and the depth that it adds. When you don't journal, you don't gesso the entire page. You don't gel medium the entire page. Um, you'll get some very interesting um, variety in your backgrounds. Okay, and I do want to give a special um, shout out to Daily Art. They are a sponsor um, of our blog hop. And guess what, guys? We're having tons of giveaways, okay? So make sure you subscribe and you leave a comment because that's how you're going to be entered. And guess what? You can enter multiple times because you, you're going to move from this video on to the next person, okay? And so you can find all the links and descriptions down at the bottom. And so um, Daily Art actually sent me these beautiful glimmer, um, glimmer ink sprays. And they have a little bit of shimmer and then some of them are flat. Okay. I love the size of the bottle. I was very impressed with that. It is water reactive. And they have tons and tons of products. And the other one, the, I used two of the um, stencil masks in uh, Morocco 
on Morocco number five and Morocco number two. I thought that it would give some interest, like when the light comes into the sea, like it'll have like a little bit of variation. And so with the inks being uh, water reactive, I can kind of move them around like watercolor, okay? And then I'm going in here with some alcohol and I'm just simply going to uh, sprinkle it so it creates like little droplets of water. So I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. So I'm just going to keep that stuff moving around the page with um, that big old ugly rusted up uh, paintbrush. I will say there was a point in time in this that I was like, oh, am I going to be able to pull this out or not? <laughs> and I always call that working past the ugly guys. <laughs> so if you get to a point where you're like, oh, my word, my word, I'm not sure. Well, you we all go there, okay? So you just got to keep pushing. And I'm just flicking, 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 regular old 98. 91% isopropyl or whatever you call what is alcohol called y'all know the alcohol that you put on like a hurt a boo-boo a little a little wound Lord if y'all were joining me for the first time you think I am as country as it gets well honey my name southern gal is not by chance right <laughs> so that's all I'm doing here is just kind of making those little ripples in the water and I wanted to go back with one of the stencils and I wanted to, I didn't feel like we really had enough going on. So I'm taking a baby wipe and places where I had the gel medium, it's going to come up a lot easier than it is in places where the gel medium was not because we had a sealant on the page. Okay. And so even though this is a really fun, like Moroccan design, I think it kind of looked like a little ripples of water and kind of the variations <clears throat> of colors that you see in the sea. So I'm going in here with my Deco Arts um, gesso and a palette knife. Now what you will notice, and I'm trying to pull that hard line where that gel transfer is. I'm trying to pull your eye into the page opposed to just kind of sitting on top of it. And I do like to explain the process to you guys as to why I choose to make the choices that I make. Sometimes it's just random and I'm trying stuff. But I do try to educate you on why I'm doing what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Hey, say that 10 times fast. Anyway, so what you will see because we have a, a water reactive medium with the spray inks that I use, you will notice that... Um, this gesso is not going to stay white. It's going to kind of absorb the colors and the layers um, like behind that. And it's going to end up being like a lighter shade of it as it dries. So, whoo, Lord, have mercy. And now I'm going to go in here with some acrylic inks. Okay, these are Liquitex, I think, or De La, La Rowney. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going in, going in here with some Payne's Gray just to add some really um, darker kind of shading and shadows and kind of a little bit of eeriness that you would see. And then I'm going in here with, this is um, the Perusian Blue, I believe it's what it's called. I don't have it right in front of me. But it's a really beautiful sea blue. And I was like, oh, this is nice. I could do like a wash. And that's what I'm doing is just taking that big old brush and just going around and washing over um, the, the kind of deepening some of the colors. Um, that's going to give us layers, which is going to give us um, more of a uh, true C type um, look. So as you can see here, the gesso is a being absorbed by the colors underneath as well as those um, acrylic inks. So instead of it being white, it's just kind of lighter. And I'm going back with the baby wipe. Baby wipes can be your best friend, guys. Um, and just kind of creating texture and layers and a variety here. Now, y'all all know I love me some gold leaf. But guess what? They sent me, um, Daily Art sent me copper. Ooh. And so I was thinking like um, copper and gold treasures floating in like the ocean. So I'm going in here. I'm trying to get a little tight for you guys. They sent me some, um, uh, this is like the actual glue that you um, 
that you uh, actually glue down the gold leaf. So, I had never had the real glue you're supposed to use. I've always used just like uh, gel medium or um, glue stick or something like that. So, I will say doing that with my finger, um, don't do that. <laughs> Actually use like a palette knife or a silicone scraper or something like that because that stuff got glued all over me. So, I look like I had like gold coins all over stuck all over my finger at the end. But it was fun. And I'm taking, because I don't want like a hard piece of gold coin, right? I want it to kind of like ripple and look like it's going through the water. So I'm taking this uh, kind of, it's a harder brush, kind of like a harder, thicker bristle. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of rubbing it back. So it's not a solid piece of copper, but more like a um, pieces and particles that would be going through the uh, water. And so I realized that I was out of frame, so I'm trying to zoom in here and make sure you guys can see me, okay? And I'm just simply taking that and going around. Originally, I thought about doing circles, and then that quickly didn't appeal to me, so I switched it. And guess what? As artists, we can do that. If you're not feeling it, just try something else and see what happens. And so I'm just going around the pages and making sure that I um, have a little dibble dabble of uh, copper sparkles um, around the page until I like where it's at and I think this is where off camera like I'm trying to get that go that copper off my fingers <laughs> so funny so funny okay guys so don't forget this is a, bl a blog a blog a hop so it's a YouTube hop so go down to the bottom in the description you're gonna find lots of awesome awesome super awesome um, other youtubers that you may or may not know about so this is a great time to kind of expand the channels that you watch head on down there to the description box make sure that you uh, go and follow these other beautiful creatives because you're going to find lots of different techniques on how we took the theme. I'm going in here with a little bit of the um, white ink because I wanted to look like something of the sea was kind of coming up from the bottom like um, you know like you know they have sea cucumbers and kind of like things that uh, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway so make sure you head on over to the next person and don't forget guys how to enter the giveaways. We've got jelly um, print uh, jelly arts. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but they um, sent us some stuff. We've got all kinds of giveaways you do not want to miss out on. So go down there, hit that subscribe button, okay? Also, leave me a comment. That's how you get entered, okay? To make sure, share this with your friends, tell everybody about it. We are going to have the um, giveaway, I believe it's going to be August the 13th is when it's going to be announced. I'm going to be out of the country, so my friend Janine is going to, um, she's going to do my, my uh, pick my winner for me. So make sure that you leave that comment and hit the subscribe button. Make sure, guys, you turn that notification on because as I post videos, you don't want to miss out. So I thank you so much for joining me. I am adding here this stuff is so cool. It is called Liquid Pearls. And the, the one I'm using is transparent. And I'm just going around. And the cool thing about this is it makes a perfect circle without even really trying. So I'm just going around the page and it's going to look like water droplets. Huh, I love this so much. I'm going to have to use this a lot. And so they also have this as Daily Art. Make sure you check down below. You will find a coupon that Daily Art is providing all of the viewers of our video. And I'll have that posted in the description box uh, below. It's a really cool um it's they have tons of cool products and then I thought well I left that kind of the left side of the page a little abandoned and I thought oh I'm gonna use Tim Holtz rub-ons and use the word found and then I thought well this is found treasure right but the word found by itself is kind of kind of just be a little not very um appealing to the eye so I thought, well, what if I take a lot of the words 
that are on one of the rub-ons that I have. And I can make it, I'm not looking for perfection here. So I'm just randomly going to put words around over there on the side. And then I'm going to put that found in the middle. So it's going to kind of pop out of me. Because this is our found treasure, our found abandoned sea of a building that looks kind of spooky um, over to the side so that's uh, where I'm gonna leave it guys is that was the really the final touches to what um, I I thought that this page needed I hope that it's inspired you to create I hope that you will join in and making those comments and following along with the other uh, youtubers and creatives tons of inspiration this weekend and don't forget make sure you tag me if you share it on Instagram or on social media I would love to cheer you on and take a look at your work you can find out how to find me on other social media platforms right down below in the description until next time guys to leave